What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're gonna be checking out Punk Wars. This is a top-down 4X hex-based strategy game where you pick from a number of factions that are fighting over a post-apocalyptic world. It's all, I don't know if it's like randomly generated in the skirmish mode, I guess. I probably shouldn't say that, but it does come with like a campaign mode. I figure we'll check it on out today, spend about 25, 30 minutes with it and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on. If after watching this, you did indeed want to add it to your wish list, I'll have a link for you down below in the description. And then aside from that, you'll also be able to find a link to my Twitch stream and my Discord, just in case you wanted to swing on through live and say hello. I do tend to follow up on games that I feel like I didn't get enough time with in both those avenues. Just to kind of flesh it out a little bit further if I feel like I can't make a call for my first impressions. So, without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Let's just get on in here and knock this thing out, shall we? Campaign mode. So we get four factions that we get to pick from. There's Steampunk. That's Victorian stuff that all runs off of steam, brass pipes, gyrocopters, that kind of stuff. There's Diesel Punk, which is effectively if you've ever played Scythe or you've played any of those types of games. Uh, it's World War II, but with like mech technology and like Tesla coils and stuff like that. Basically, World War II technology combined uh, with like higher technology. We've got Atom Punk. Atom Punk is effectively what you're looking at when you play Fallout or like The Outer Worlds. Uh, both of those games are very kind of art deco and retro futuristic. Uh, basically, Atom Punk is like the 1960s idea of what they thought the future would look like if everything ran off of nuclear power. And then Steelpunk, I don't think that Steelpunk is actually a thing. Uh, Steelpunk is effectively raiders. These guys, they have the most in common with like the bad guys you would see if you're playing or you're watching like Mad Max or something like that. Uh, these guys basically are all about like scrap and sheet metal and, you know, shrapnel and flying around in weird scrap copters and scrap tanks and stuff like that. In the case of this game, I don't know who I want to play. I have no interest in steampunk whatsoever. It's just not an aesthetic that I like. So I'm going to skip over them entirely. They're not even on the table. Dieselpunk, Atompunk, and Steelpunk, though, I'm equally interested in. I think they all sound awesome. But I think I'm going to do Atom Punk because I feel like that's the most unique out of all of these. Like, I've played lots of Diesel Punk stuff. I've played lots of Wasteland Raider stuff. I've played lots of Steampunk stuff. Atom Punk, I've definitely played a lot of Fallout too, but I'm sort of interested in seeing how they work. Let's dive on in. The power of the Atom brought this world to its knees. It's only logical that the same power should bring it back. We have so many questions, so many experiments to conduct. Our knowledge must grow, and with it, we shall grow as well. The time is upon us. We must find new test subjects for science. Okay, I sort of dig this, so we're like not the good guys. We're out here in the post-apocalypse trying to abduct a guy strap him to a wall and zap him up with atomic energy to like learn stuff about him overseer do you copy hello it seems that our new intercom system is working that's a perfect opportunity for me to report we we're running low on test subjects recent unexpected side effects discouraged volunteers and our encounters with wastelanders were lacking in delivering any good specimens they're all weak malnourished they cannot possibly comprehend the importance of our experiments Okay, way ahead of you. That's exactly why I've planned this new expedition. The reading on our instruments suggests that there are huge clusters of humans in this area. We're going to advance our research, test it in the field, and procure new test subjects. That's what I call optimization. So this is our base. Uh, we've started out... Okay, we get five max resources. That's cool. Okay, so five max resources is pretty nice. I'll definitely take that. Uh, the first thing up that we need to do, as with all kind of Civ games like this, is we need to work on our research. We can get uh, grenades over here, so we can give our watchman, which is our normal foot soldier, we can give them a grenade. Uh, so it looks like it does an AoE 2 damage attack and reveals all the hexes. Okay. Or we can get a wave transmitter, a large antenna system that sends subliminal messages on brain frequencies to stimulate happiness. It reduces unhappiness. Okay, we'll get the grenades first. I want my soldiers to be stronger. Inside of our starting area, we've got ourselves a uranium extraction center, which is that resource right there. We've got ourselves a hydro extraction bureau, so that's going to be water. And then we've got ourselves a conflict resolution space, and it looks like that allows us to make soldiers. Okay. And then over here, we have a biological content manufacturer, so that's going to be our food. Sounds like a plan. 
Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to get my water up and running. So I'm going to move them over there. We have found what looks like an old pre-war city. We don't know if it's inhabited, but it might be worth our time to send some scouts and explore. Who knows what secrets are buried underneath the rubble? Just be careful. It might be a good place for a potential trap. Okay. Well, let's send our soldiers out real fast. See if maybe we can make a little bit of headway in scouting. I like this starting position. We're all up on like a mesa right here. Very, very defensible. I like that a lot. Uh, I've got enough resources right now. Can I actually have them build the thing with no AP? Oh, I can. Cool. So we can make a Hydra Extraction Bureau, which is like free. We can do that right now, and it'll give us plus three water. We could also make a food printer, but like I'm gonna since all of these things require water for us to build them first, I'm gonna go ahead and build the water and get that up to like a plus three, especially since yeah, our units cost a lot of water too. But we'll get one of them up and cooking right now as well, so that we've got extra soldiers in the pipe. That's about all we can do on this turn, I think. It is indeed, so we're just going to bypass and go to the next turn. One thing I have liked about this game when I was playing around with it... Oh, we're under attack. Okay, apparently there's Wasteland Raiders over here. Uh, Overseer copy, it's me again. The scientific expedition is a perfect opportunity to test our new management algorithm. It can help us optimize research output and enhance production by eliminating random variables. But our computing power is too low to focus on everything at once. Therefore, I need to burden you with making a decision. What should we focus on? We should focus on exploring. We can focus on making sure that we have enough resources to perform all experiments and keep new testing subjects alive when they arrive. Enhance the production lines or... We can take a boost to enhancing our security forces. Let's do that. I want to be safe. What did that do for me? So defense plus one for four turns to my military units. Very, very nice. So these guys now have two armor. Uh, open fire. What is this thing? It's gangers. Okay, so it's just like a bunch of dudes in a rickshaw that are just like, <laughs> like coming at us. I'm not getting murdered by a tricycle. All right, that is the lamest wheeled vehicle to ever get killed by. I refuse to die at the hands of a tricycle. It's not happening today. It's not happening now. It's not happening ever. Open fire. There you go. Three damage dealt right there. You guys open fire too. That's what I like to hear. And then you guys kind of flank and spank over to this way. There we go. Uh, you guys can't really do a whole lot right now with what you have going on. Love this UI, by the way. This is a really fantastical looking UI. I like how the Atom Punk guys kind of have like a... Almost like a Bioshock thing going on. It's got all that Art Deco sort of 1950s, 1960s. Everything looks like a old Ford hub, hubcap <laughs> thing going on. Uh, when you play other factions, which I have, their UI changes. The whole thing changes. So when you play as the Wasteland Raiders, it's all made out of scrap metal and it's all rusty and it's all gross. When you play as the uh, the Steampunk guys, it's all like brass pipes and stuff in the background. Very, very nice attention to detail when it comes to the UI. What we can do is we can fortify these guys, which will give them, I think, some extra defense. Yeah, it gives them two more defense. So that's just flat damage mitigation. So hopefully they'll survive this hit. Over here, we've got those guys making that. I think we could use another builder. So I'm going to start another builder real fast so that I can expand my borders and kind of like make this area larger. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, one damage. It's not too bad, although it's going to take these guys a really, really long amount of time to heal. They also get a counterattack since they attacked while they were fortified, so that's just like great. Uh, you guys get the kill shot. They do get XP, so I assume that they level up or they specialize or something once they get up to a higher level. We may be able to test that today by just making sure the same guy lands all the kill shots, but I don't know. Uh, we need these guys to be sitting on, I think, a building that has like a shield around it for them to heal, as far as I know. Otherwise, they don't heal. They just kind of stay at the same HP. I'd prefer that they heal no matter where you are inside your borders. I'd like that a little bit better. But, you know, it's workable. We got two turns till our warrior comes out. We got one turn until we get our builder. So we should be all right. Uh, Overseer, I got an accident. Remember the failed mutated animal experiment from a couple of months ago? One of our labs was testing Cage's security for new test subjects, and they had forgotten that the animals were down there. Most of them are already eaten and got cannibalized, but those that survived are angry, hungry, and apparently that old experiment wasn't a flop because they were shooting laser beams out of their eyes. Unfortunately, they hit an auxiliary reactor. One thing led to another. You know how it goes. Long story short, boom, no more lab. Also, lab technician's dead. We've lost all the mutated animals, but the security footage is really, really funny to watch. Um, are you kidding me? We had laser beasts at our disposal and we lost them all? I'm surrounded by idiots. 
Delete the security footage. No one needs to know about it. And I don't want anybody to know that we lost valuable data. Or we can say that is an awesome video. We should distribute it as a cautionary tale. Um. Hide the evidence. So we lost science point income. Minus one for three turns. But we got some happiness. So that's good. It's going to say unhappiness plus three. Or it's going to say unhappiness minus three. Uh, unhappiness, this is actually happiness. So anything that's in green is good. Anything that's in red is bad. So that's actually a good thing. Like, I know it doesn't read like that's a good thing, but it is a good thing. It's just one of those little notational things that's kind of weird. Uh, if you guys want to move out a little bit further, I'm okay with it. It looks like there is a old camp right there. We might be able to scavenge something out of it. Maybe I'll give that a go. They may also get horribly disfigured and maimed. You never quite know. Uh... We will move them over to there so that these guys can spawn. We'll move them up and over to there. And then if we go into our tier two, or no, our tier one, we can make a, oh, I need more resources for the expansionist center. That sucks. Uh, this thing right here is gonna expand our borders. And so basically you deploy this thing along the edge of your outer wall and it'll give you all the hexes that are attached to it so you can build more buildings. And we can't really do anything with it right for, for right now, but like, eh, is what it is. You guys keep healing. You guys go check out this camp right here. We found one unit of special resource. Oh, cool. We got some uranium. Nice. Uh, we've got a uranium source right there. We've got a ruins of a mine right there. Okay, I've got to demolish it with builders before I can do anything. Oh, our research is done. Nice. So we have our grenades. Sweet, dude. Uh, we've got surveying instruments. That'll allow our builders to gather resources from empty hexes outside of our borders. That might be good. I don't know if I'll use it very much. It sounds okay. It's not like the most terrible thing I've ever heard. We've got another unit of soldiers up pretty soon too, so that's pretty badass. Good news, Overseer! One of our top quantum field scientists is dead. Well, that came out wrong. She was able to achieve a major breakthrough in the quantum field manipulation experiment. And, of course, she tested on herself, just like any good atom scientist would. She gained the ability to move through walls, but her success kind of hit a brick wall when the quantum field around her depleted while she was inside that same wall. And so anyways, her left side merged with it. Lab technicians are still scraping her right side biomatter off the wall, but I digress. The point is we learned something new. Okay, yeah, good news indeed. We need to proceed further with those experiments, and who knows, maybe one day we'll be able to move matter over great distances. Sweet. Uh, that gave us plus two science points for four turns, so that made up for the science that we lost when we lost our laser eye beasts. Uh, over here, we're going to go ahead and put down our expansionist center, I guess. Sounds good. Units HP over time, plus one. Okay, yep, drop it on in there. Good stuff. These guys are at 5 HP. That's fine. We've got a new unit of soldiers over here, too. We'll move them up to theirs so that they can catch up with these guys and we can move as a unified front northwards. Other things that we have that we can do. I have no water, so it doesn't matter. Those guys are just healing. Those guys are chillaxing over here. There's a ruin of a mine. I don't want to, like, push out too far. So I'm just going to leave them right there until they regroup with that squad. I'd like to be able to have, like, a massed fire before we go any further. Okay, so those guys are at 6 HP. These guys are at 8 HP. We've got three more water. I'd like to get another squad of soldiers. Nay. Another builder. Let's focus on our economy. That sounds like the plan. Uh, you guys come back here and just kind of like meet up with them. And then we will bypass all that. I don't really want to make another soldier right now. It's going to cycle through everything that I can possibly do. But like, I don't really care altogether that much. Okay. It's my turn. We have three water. Builder is coming up pretty soon. Let's go ahead and push them forward. And it looks like we can go down this ramp right here, if I remember correctly, from, like, the tutorial or whatever. Yeah, we can move up and down through this ramp. So we're actually, like, in a really secure location. The downside to that is that we've got very limited building space. 
So we've got to figure out a way that we can expand down to that lower level if that's even remotely possible. Looks like the map is fairly small. So like I'm not really too worried. I'm willing to bet we're going to bump elbows with a different faction pretty soon. You guys got one HP left to go. That's good to hear. Yeah, let's end it. That's fine. Okay, we got another builder. Overseer, I've got news. It seems that our best matter manipulation scientist, Anthony... Ach Anthony? All right. Uh, achieved a breakthrough. I thought it was going to be like Dr. whatever, you know what I mean? Dr. Scatelli. I don't know, like a, an actual like title. No, it's just Anthony. Just some guy that sits around in some overalls. Hey, I'm a scientist. Yep, that's just the way things work in the future. Uh, achieved a breakthrough in his goal to reduce the weight of our military equipment. He managed to reduce a whole unit of infantry trainees. I mean, well, he reduced their equipment in them as well. I see this as an absolute win, though. Unfortunately, Anthony does not know how to bring them back yet. They're lost in the quantum realm. We'll probably never see them again, but the research is promising. Uh, okay, so I can scribble a letter to their families optimized to lower their suffering. Or I can... We cannot underrate Anthony and their trainees. Let's consider them missing in action for now and be patient. I'm pretty sure they're disintegrated. Okay, so people are quite unhappy with us right now, and we lost manpower limit. Brutal. Very, very painful. Definitely, probably could have gone better. Uh, print me up another soldier, just in case. Are you guys Healy Boyd? Okay, you guys are Healy Boyd. Let's move you guys on up. And you guys, check out that camp right there. We got two units of food. That's fantastic. You guys go over here. We found a military base with a complicated defense system that is somehow still active. Our experts have managed to plug into the system, and they can now disable the force field for a short while. The facility is divided into two parts, one that worked on defensive technology, and the other one did offensive. There's no way we can disable the force field long enough to search both wings. There's always a risk that not everyone will make it out in time. Um, Go ahead. I don't want to risk it. We'll, we'll kind of bail. I've seen an event like that with one of the other factions, and it's just a buff that you get for a couple of turns, and then they get super wounded or whatever, and so I'm guessing that's the same corollary event for our side. Oh, our project's done. Nice. We got the surveying equipment. We can get uranium bullets for our watchman. That'd be cool. Or we can get power welder, which makes our watchman capable of seeing one unit further. Uh, probably uranium bullets, man. We can only pick one of those two. Whenever you see a branch inside the tech tree, you can only pick one of the two. The tech tree is fairly beefy. It's not like the most massive tech tree I've ever seen in my life, but it is quite large, and there's lots of branching paths, so there's opportunities to try different things out on different playthroughs. I don't really know how good the AI is in this game, because that tends to be the hinging factor for, like, 4X-style games like this, like civ-building games. So it's possible that the UI may not be good. It's also possible that the UI may be amazing. Or, I'm sorry, the AI may be amazing. Who knows? Builders, you are ready. Builders, I want you to build a facility over here. And that facility should f facilitate me getting more food. That's what it should do. Overseer, it seems that a particularly frivolous faction of scientists have decided to conduct an extremely spontaneous experiment in a hostile takeover of sovereignty over our enlightened society. Their armed troops are heading towards our headquarters. The thesis of their experiment, and I quote, is, We don't like the Overseer. We would be better at it than him. Let me add that this is a really bad experiment. Where's the control group? Where's the blind test? Where's the relevant control procedures? Where's... Shut up and kill him. All right, well, we will kill them then, I guess. It looks like I can fire at them from right here. So I'm gonna... Oh, we hit them for five damage. That's a pretty spicy shot. Atomic Rebels. Oh, that's pretty cool. What do they look like? They look different from my soldiers, I think. Yeah, they've got like a little guy in a trench coat. He's like a little NCR guy. Okay, well, I mean, we, we shot them. You guys probably fortify... I would like it if you guys would build the tower, but I don't have the resources to build. Oh, no, not a tower. I wanted you guys to make a food factory. There we go. Yeah, dude. Construct for me the cheeseburger forge. 
the Burger Forge. Maybe I should bring some more guys down here. Just as, like, backup. I feel like it wouldn't be the most terrible plan. Yeah. This is also an opportunity for me to feed another XP to those guys so they can figure out what happens. Uh, we finished our uranium bullets, which is rad as hell. Uh, we've got a gas-cooled reactor, which will give me an infiltration technician. They are incredibly mobile, and they are close-ranged. The other thing we can get is a wave transmitter, which allows us to brainwash people. We may need that because my population is anxious right now. And, like, I get anxious sometimes, and I just feel like being anxious is not a very fun thing. Oh, they're shooting at my barracks. Okay. So much of douches, man. Can't believe you've done this. Uh, let's bring you guys down to here. Let's bring you guys down to here. You open fire. Four damage. You guys get the kill so that I can see what happens when people level up. There we go. The rebellion has been put down. No more rebellion inside Splattercat's kingdom. So they gain experience points by performing actions. Yeah, I know, but I want to know what happens when they get veterancy. Like, do they get more HP? Do they get more armor? Do I get to choose and customize them? So many delicious options. Nobody's wounded, so I should be able to move these three units out for scouting in just a minute. I have enough for another worker. Maybe I should make another worker. Yeah, we'll do a builder. Why not? And our wave transmitter is done. This right here allows me to investigate and research ruins and relics with a scientist so that I can advance my project's implementation progress. That might not actually be a terrible thing. Let's get the scientist. Okay. You guys, advance. There we go. Our nuclear army is rattling along. And on the wind, you can hear the sound of their reveille. Maybe you'll think of me. You just hear it hovering. I mean, if you wanted to go the other way, give me a kiss to build a dream on. We can do that song too. That song's in there. Uh, you, you can go with like either song, but those are like the classic Fallout tracks. And I like to imagine we're bumping them right now on the Vox. Okay. That's my turn. I'm going to leave it right where it's at. We've unlocked scientists. Let's get the infiltration unit next because they sound like a big old gaggle of fun. You guys move up to there. Builders? I don't know what I can build right now. But a brainwashy thing doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Conflict resolution space. Brain frequency transmitter. Maybe I'll have them scooch forward and capture all this territory. I don't know. You guys move up. You guys move up. You guys move up. There we go. And so we are moved up officially. You guys move up to here, and maybe I'll land grab something. We need 10 water, so we can't do that till next turn. It's fine by me. Although, didn't I unlock an ability on them that allows me to, like, tear stuff down so I can demolish stuff? I can do extraction. We'll test that out next turn instead of building right now. I want to see what extraction does for me. Overseer, it pains me to mention such unscientific matters with you, but there's rumors that in one of our labs there are ghosts. I know. I know what you think, and no, it's not our brain frequency manipulator. I can assure you those who spread the frivolous claims have been tested, and we did not deem them insane. Witnesses claim that a strange, grotesque, translucent being is moving on its two limbs through the walls and scaring technicians. Uh, I don't know. Find the plausible explanation. We lost seven uranium, and we gained a, a butt-ton of unhappiness. Weak, dude. Weak. Super, super weak. I'm going to keep these guys back here just in case any more rebels spawn, just so like we have like a contingency plan. Can you do that right here? 
Empty hex outside of borders. No target available. What if I bring you guys over here? Can I bulldoze this? Doesn't look like I can demo the old camp. So I don't know. Put down another control tower. Looks good to me. Wow, that was a big land grab right there. Fantastic. All right, so these guys are going to pop out down here. So far, so good. No hostiles. You guys move up. I'll scooch them, and then they'll come out like this, and we'll just have like a nice little fan. It looks like there's another tunnel that goes up to the top over there. I wanted to kind of cut south, though, and see if I could get to these cities or whatever that are going on down here. Okay. I don't have, like, any resources right now, so we're going to have to worry about that a little bit later. Uh, we did get a new project done, so that's good. We can now create that new unit. We've got nano reactors. It makes their movement cost cheaper. Oh, nice. Or we get a quantum jump for our unit that we just unlocked. Interesting. That's pretty good. What does that do? Procedure optimization. It allows our scientists to optimize. Shortens the action cooldowns of a friendly building unit. So it allows her to reset their cooldowns effectively by two turns. Okay. Interesting. So it seems like this right here is kind of like our military nuclear tree, and this one right here seems like it's like our quantum science tree. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Not gonna lie, uh, being able to quantum jump sounds way more awesome than being able to just like move more effectively. It's got a plum, okay? So I can make an infiltration technician. He's a little bit more expensive, but he's also kind of more awesome, so I'm okay with it. No bad guys over here, which is good. Maybe they'll cruise on in. We haven't even met any of the other factions yet. You come out to here. You guys move out to here. You guys take point over to here. You guys maybe scooch a little further. Okay. Nothing so far. Maybe we'll be all right. Sort of bummed out I left these guys back here. Maybe I shouldn't have. Oh, well. Such is life. Go ahead and give me another worker. We need to keep building buildings. A scout wouldn't be a bad idea either, but at this point, I'm just scouting with my military, so... We'll just do, like, the whole, like... You know, we'll do the mech warrior thing, dude. We'll do, like, a house steiner thing where we're not using scouts to scout. We're using, like, our heavy infantry. You guys move out that way, and we're just going to kind of move in cohesion. Ooh, what is that? A building. Tower ruins. Can I search it? So we got that. We can get a new unit called the Spy, but I'm going to work on my other tree a little bit. I don't know if the game intends for you to, like, beeline one tree and put, like, all your efforts into one tree. Or if it expects you to kind of split it around. I honestly don't know. A group of mutated beast attacks our units after a bloody struggle. They defended themselves, but they took losses. Oh, bro. Man. Weak, dude. In the ruins, you found a group of locals. They don't look well. We suspect they're suffering from a peculiar form of wasteland blight. They can live with it for a few months, but there's no known cure for the disease. End their suffering? Wait, who lost 5 HP? I don't know who lost 5 HP, but it said somebody lost 5 HP. I don't know. Couldn't honestly tell you. Move over to there, and if you can build anything, I suggest that you do. 
Uh, we've got to have uranium in order to build that. So I've got to go all the way over to there to build a, re a uranium reactor. We're kind of good on uranium, though, so I kind of want to build more water. Like, I feel like we just never have any water. Like, I feel like that's really what we're struggling with. All right, so we'll build him up. We'll go get the uranium with this builder right here. These guys are all scuffed, and so I'm sort of bummed out about that. Let's just kind of press around, I guess. If we lose a unit over here, I'm not going to send them all the way back to base to heal. It just feels like a waste to me. Uh, with that right there, go ahead and give me a few more watchmen. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I cancel that? Do I have, like, a queue anywhere? Okay, we have a queue right there. Give me one of the infiltration technicians. Yeah, let's do actually swap them around. Give me the infiltration technician first. I want to see what that guy looks like. I want to see if he's going to do, like, the red alert thing where he's like, for king and country. And just, like, runs around being awesome. All right, so we can move down this way. You guys kind of spread out. Actually, it's kind of like not a whole lot going on down here. I was expecting to run into some kind of mad, crazy resistance. And instead, there was none. Did I make another builder somewhere? Yeah, I did right there. I should have made it at that building, though. Then I could have just had him one step onto the uranium. Feels bad. Splat's bad at his job. Uh, we can do direct control, which allows us to control somebody's brain. Or we can do quantum tools, which allows us to give our units plus two AP. What does that one do? Pharmaceuticals, conflict resolution space, gives us the medic. Dude, I need a medic. Okay, so I'm going to go with the brain wiping, brain control. And then we're going to get the medic because the medic is going to be really, really helpful. I'd like to be able to rub a band-aid on these boo-boos. All right. Anything in the camp? While scavenging the ruins of an industrial facility, we found a package of unsent water filtering chips. They're addressed for Shelter 13, whatever the hell that is. Clearly, they never got it, so we took them for ourselves. However, we need to do some work on our system to make it compatible. Sure. Science points minus one, but our water production is up by three. Oof, we can kick it into overdrive then right now. Give me another soldier. Give me another builder. Basically, build me, like, anything that you possibly can while we've got that extra bonus for six turns. Good God. We're going to be spitting out units, man. It's going to be filthy. Let's go get them up there for the uranium reactor. And these guys have not moved yet, and I don't like that they're all by themselves. Looks like this is a dead end, unfortunately. So we'll just have them hold the perimeter right here, and these guys will come back up and meet them in a minute. All right, let's see this teleportation unit. I cut the, I cut the video long just to see this teleporter guy. All right, so what do you guys do? Four to eight damage? Damn. Okay. Do the, do the quantum jump. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh, Definitely enjoyed that. Enjoyed that tremendously. Definitely would do that again. My name is Splattercat. This is Punk Wars. Thus far, I haven't really seen any problems with the game. The graphics appear to be good. The attack animations are a little bit weak, and I think they could be a little bit better and a little bit more punchy and a little bit more vibrant. I'd like to see lasers flying in between guys that are shooting at each other and stuff, but it gets the idea across. I, I think that I've had no frame drops. I've had no crashes. I've had no issues. I haven't seen the AI enough to appraise whether or not the AI does a good job. And I've got a sneaking suspicion that that's going to be the hill that this game lives or dies on. So unfortunately, I can't answer that question for you. Maybe cruise around on the Steam boards a little bit or uh, read some reviews before you jump on into it since I wasn't able to fully answer that question. Uh, that being the case, we are out of time for the day. And I haven't seen anything that's jumped out at me so far that's made me think like, damn, skip this game. And so anyways, I love the UI. I think it looks great. I'm interested in playing around with the different factions. And so I may put a few hours on into this one just to get a feel for it. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Check out Punk Wars down below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see y'all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. Bye, everybody.